Happy Valentine's Day. Yeah. So this is a card I bought myself. Hi, my name is Christina Carpenter, and I bought myself a Valentine's Day card. Yeah, this is it. So this is what it says. Let's see. When I think of you, I wait. When I think of love, I think of you. Happy Valentine's Day to me. Yes. And I also bought myself chocolates with this cute little golden retriever dog and the cutest little glasses. So cute. Bought it from Dollar Tree best place in the world so yeah so that was my valentine's day bought me some chocolate chocolate is finished yeah of course i got more chocolate for my family so it was cool um i usually buy myself a little gift for valentine's day because why not and i believe valentine's day is singles awareness day it is and so since it's an awareness day i have to honor myself and give myself props for still being alive and being healthy and strong and being, you know, doing well, doing okay. And so that's what I do for Valentine's Day. So anyway, I had wrote this little Valentine's Day. Well, actually, it's a February challenge. It's a love yourself in February challenge. And this is the challenge. The challenge is to do these 30 promises for yourself. And you plan it on the calendar, what you're going to do each day for actually February is only 28 days or is it 29 days is it 29 yes yeah, 29 days so it's not really 30 but you could do multiple on one day you don't have to do just one per day you could do like two on a, on a day um or you could do three on a day so any other days mix it up stagger it out stack it up and the aim is just to promise to do something on this list for the month of February and this is so that you can honor yourself because you are important and just because you're not paired up with a boo, a boyfriend, whatever, it's okay or whatever. So, you know, it's always good to honor yourself, celebrate yourself and loving yourself is all year around. It's not just one day, it's every day. So this is a practice that you can do to honor yourself and just practice loving on yourself. So some people say when you love yourself, you do nice things for yourself, like give yourself a nice meal give yourself a bubble bath. Some people love taking themselves to the nail salon, getting a mani-pedi, something like that. I'm not a mani-pedi person, but it is on the list because you know what, why not? So yes, some of these things that I'm gonna list out are things you will spend money on. So buying yourself a nice mani-pedi might be one of them. And so the, the, the list is just to focus on honoring yourself treating yourself well, like as if you're your own best friend, because we are with each other, we're with ourselves for the rest of our lives. And so I think one month is good to celebrate who you are and give yourself a Valentine's Day card if you need to, give yourself some chocolate if you need to, maybe you already buy chocolate every day, who knows? I watched this YouTube video where this, um, they were like following this lady and it was like, so can we see your house? And she was like, yeah, sure. And um, she was going to buy flowers for herself and she had a, a fresh pair of flowers on her table. And she said, yeah, I buy myself fresh flowers every week. And I was like, wow, that's such a good routine. And so that's something you could do to incorporate into your self-love routine as a challenge for you. But for the month of February is a great challenge to show yourself love. And one of those ways is this list that I've created. So make a commitment to do at least most of them and promise yourself to do it. And you'll feel better about the whole month and the whole year and just loving that you did something for yourself. So here's a list. One, save $5 each day for one week. So the month of February, you save $5 or just save, just put away some money from your paycheck, put it away, say you're going to commit to putting away a certain amount of money and put it away and just say, I'm not going to spend this and I'm going to put it in my savings account, savings, okay? Two, get some ice cream one day. Just get yourself some ice cream just for the, just for the sake of it, just getting some ice cream. Just say, okay, I'm going to have some ice cream. All right, next, go to the nail salon. And in, in, re, in regards to ice cream, if you don't want to get ice cream, you could always get frozen yogurt or just get some nice fruit, like a bowl of fruit or something like that. Treat yourself to a nice bowl, a fruit bowl. If you don't usually get fruit bowls, go get a fruit bowl or an acai bowl or something like that. Treat yourself. Okay. And then, okay, next, go to the nail salon. Four, make yourself your favorite dinner. Knowing that you know yourself, you know what your favorite dinner is. What is your favorite dinner? Is it steak? Is it shrimp? Is it chicken 
Is it lobster? You know, whatever is your favorite thing, make it and have it or go buy it somewhere and just say, this is the treat for me. All right, next, make yourself pancakes and sausage and sit down and have a nice breakfast. Sometimes we rush out the door and we don't take time to have a breakfast. Maybe you rush to work or whatever, but maybe one of the days during the week, maybe you already do this already, but if you don't, it's a good time to try and start. Make yourself a nice sausage and pancakes or waffles and pancakes or an omelet and um, and a sausage or whatever you want to do. Just make a nice breakfast and just treat yourself to sitting down, taking time to take, give yourself a breakfast rather than rushing out the door and gobbling down maybe some granola bar or whatever. Give yourself a nice breakfast. Next, take yourself on a solo dinner. This might be scary for some people if you're not used to going out for a solo dinner or anything like that, but go to your favorite restaurant and take yourself out for a solo dinner, or it could be a solo lunch, whatever one you want to do, or it could be a solo breakfast. So like for me, I did IHOP. IHOP had a beautiful pancakes, um, pancake day. They celebrated national pancake day. So they were giving away pancakes for a dollar. So I was like, oh my goodness, this is a chance to go and get pancakes for a dollar. So I went well, actually, was it free pancakes? I think they 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 advertised it as free, but when you got there, it was like a dollar. So I was like, okay, that's fine. So I got free stack of pancakes for a dollar. So I was really happy about that. And I just got the pancakes and I really enjoyed it. Next, go to the movies with a friend or with yourself and just be willing to just go and enjoy a great movie for the month. If you don't go to the movies, try it. Go to the movies by yourself or just go with a friend or someone who would love to go with you. Next. Buy yourself, like I said, frozen yogurt or sherbet. I guess that's like, I'm saying that again. Well, I, I guess do it twice, okay? All right, next. Do your hair in a new hairstyle that's different from what you usually do. Do you have a new hairstyle that you've always wanted to try and you just haven't tried it yet? Maybe try it in the month of February. Try something new. Try a new look. Maybe try a new wig or a new extensions or a crochet hairstyle or something like that. Or a new haircut. or um something of that nature, something to make yourself look different. Okay, next, number 11, wear your best outfit in your wardrobe. Something that is your best outfit. What's your best outfit in your wardrobe? Wear it. Don't save it for a rainy day. Put it on today or tomorrow, whenever you want, going to church or something, put on your best outfit. Maybe you always save your best outfit for a really nice outing but that outfit that time just doesn't come so maybe it's time to just do it now do it now all right so next spend a couple hours in relax relaxation and just do nothing so this is an idea for those busy bees those people that are always on the go always trying to do things and always just moving and shaking maybe you need to take time and just relax and just do nothing. So give yourself time to just relax and just try to just for one hour, just try not to do anything. Just sit and just relax. Okay. All right. Give yourself permission to relax and not have to always push, push, push and go, go, go. All right. Next. And if you want, give someone else the chore of whatever it is you want it to do. Maybe it's laundry. Give someone else to do your laundry or hire someone to do your laundry or pay someone to do your laundry just so that you can have time to do nothing for a change all right next put on makeup bright lipstick and just wear a bright lipstick for the day sometimes we forget to put on makeup maybe if you're not used to wearing makeup every day why don't you try putting on a little makeup for the day and treat yourself to a nice bright lipstick and just feel good and just celebrate just being alive and sometimes a bright lipstick makes you feel good to be alive so Try some bright lipstick and go for it. All right, next, get a pedicure. All right, so I said that you should go to the nail salon. Maybe if you went to the nail salon, you got just your fingers done. Well, why don't you also get your toes done as well? Go for it. Treat yourself. If that's not your usual thing, then this is a big deal for you. If you always go to the nail salon, then maybe, I don't know, um... I don't know if it's already your thing, then good for you. Celebrate that you've already been doing a good job of, you know, self-care and um, working on your image and making yourself look good. And that's great. And just keep doing it. Good kudos to you. All right. Next 15, do a mini vision board. Uh, if you haven't done a vision board yet, you should. February is the time to just get it done. If you didn't do it in January, do it in February. Get a vision board done. Make a vision board for what you want for the year, what you want to accomplish, what you want to 
make happen, what you hope to happen, what you're working on. Just decide and just make it a priority. All right, next, list out what you hope to accomplish by the end of the year. Make a list of what you want to accomplish by the end of the year. 17, do a bubble bath or a sugar scrub shower. Get some sugar scrub and use it. Like for me, I have the sugar scrubs and I always forget to use it because I'm always in a rush. But maybe you got to really slow down and use the sugar scrubs that you have. If you have sugar scrub, use it. All right. So I know some people probably already do this or take a bubble bath and, you know, they do their routine. Well, that's good for you. Kudos to you for doing that. All right. Next, get a massage. You could go to a massage parlor and let them massage you. I think sometimes when you go to the nail salon, they will sometimes give you a massage as well. So next. Create a work of art for 30 minutes. This is something for the creatives. Are you a creative person? Then definitely do some artwork. Take out your utensils, your pencils, your pens, whatever it is you want to do and start working on something that's creative and artistic and give yourself permission to be artistic. If you haven't done it in a while and you've put away your art supplies, take them back out and do some art. All right, next. Listen to an audio podcast or an audio book. February is a great time to listen to some audio books. Find yourself a good one and listen to an audio book or a podcast. Just sit and listen and let the, the book take you away. Next, call an old friend. Yes, call an old friend. Make a connection. Remind yourself that you're not alone in this world. Let people know that you care about them and remind yourself that relationships are super, super important. And we are here to encourage each other in the world and love each other in the world. So definitely call an old friend. 22, buy yourself some flowers. Like I talked about the lady who bought herself flowers every week. I thought that was really cool. Even though it can be expensive to buy the really nice flowers. But I think if you go to like Trader Joe's, they have flowers really cheaply, but they're so cute. So definitely if you have a Trader Joe's or a local flower store by you, just buy some nice flowers. You can, know, you can also find flowers in the supermarket. I think they're like $8 to $7, $10, something like that. So definitely buy yourself some flowers. I challenge you. All right, next, spend an hour with your family. Go for it. Remind yourself, family is important. If you're not spending time with your family, now is the time. Refresh um, your time with your family. Just make it a priority. If you're not spending time with your family, what are you doing? Your family loves you, especially if you have a good relationship with your family. Just be around sometimes and just call your mother. You know, really just rekindle your friendships with your family. All right, next. If you already do that, kudos to you. You're doing a great job. Great, great job. And clap to that. <laughs> All right, next. Learn a new craft or a skill. February is a great time to learn a new craft or skill. Go for it. I think in the beginning of the year, you could set yourself up to be able to do something new for the whole year if you start in February. So start trying to work on a new skill in February. Work on it because you have the rest of the year to improve and become better so that when the next year comes around, you're, you're golden. All right, next, do an artsy or some sort of craft. Okay, so this is kind of like doing an art project or painting, but this one is more like an art craft kind of thing. So let's say you go on Pinterest and you look up a craft and it looks really cool. Try to make it. Like it could just be something like baking. That's a craft. I think of baking as a craft. So like bake something. Like for me, like I recently baked a cheesecake. I usually don't, well, actually it wasn't baked. It was a box cheesecake, but it was pretty simple to make. And I think of it like craft. It's like a DIY, right? Because I didn't go to the store to buy it. I actually made it. So, and it came out really good. So definitely make something, you know, unique. Like if you want to just make something, put something together, DIY it. Next, number 26, finish a puzzle. Yeah. If you have a puzzle of any sort in your house, finish it. If you don't have a puzzle in your house, then maybe go online and just play some puzzle games. It's kind of relaxing and it's good for you. It's good for your mind. So definitely find a puzzle and finish one. Next, clean out a drunk junk drawer. If you have any places in your house where you have leftover things, things that have been just sitting around and you know you don't need it, give it away, donate it, get rid of it. Um, just collect everything that you don't need, put it in a box to donate or just to throw away. Get rid of things in your drunk, junk drawer, all right? Next, 28, 
replace something old in your house. If you have something old in your house, replace it. Um, it's always nice to give yourself a refresh and February is a great time to change something out. Um, get rid of something that's old. Next, do something you have been putting off. Well, if you've been putting off getting rid of something, then just do it and just get rid of it. And um, just do it. All right, next. The last one is write yourself a note card of love. Write yourself a card. Write a, a letter to yourself and just encourage yourself and just be nice to yourself because you are your own best friend. You are with yourself from beginning of childhood to old age. So be kind to yourself. Write, write yourself a nice letter. And I'd love to know what you would say to yourself. So let me know. And that's all for now for February. Love yourself. Buy yourself a card. Buy yourself some chocolate. Go for it. So I will talk to you on another video and I hope that was encouraging for you and yeah, do it.